Classic Presentations, First Aid Rapid Review, Part 1. Alright, in this set of auto flashcards, test your knowledge and review high yield information. Name the diagnosis or disease before I do and pause as needed. The great thing about these is large and easy to read text with visuals. It's easier than clicking through flashcards and helps you keep momentum. It can be used with video and audio or only video and or only audio. And you can use it pretty much anywhere on the go while you cook, clean, rest your eyes, take a walk. And it's a lot of fun to compete with a study buddy, see who can name the answer first. These have been carefully reviewed to match the book, though pictures from other sources have been added. This is just a short sampling of great study tools and concise high yield info you'll find in first aid for the USMLE Step 1. Best wishes and happy studying. Number one, abdominal pain, ascites, hepatomegaly. Bud Chiari syndrome, post hepatic venous thrombosis. Number two, abdominal pain, diarrhea, leukocytosis, recent antibiotic use. Clostridium difficile infection. Number three, Achilles tendon xanthoma. <clears throat> Familial hypercholesterolemia with decreased LDL receptor signaling. Number four, adrenal hemorrhage, hypotension, DIC. Waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome, meningococcemia. Number five, anaphylaxis following blood transfusion. IgA deficiency. Number six, anterior drawer sign. Anterior cruciate ligament injury. Seven, arachnodactyly, lens dislocation, aortic dissection, hyperflexible joints. Marfan syndrome, fibrillin defect. Number eight, athlete with polycythemia. Secondary to erythropoietin injection. Number eight, back pain, fever, night sweats. Pot disease, vertebral TB. Ten, bilateral acoustic schwannomas. Neurofibromatosis type two. 11. Bilateral hyalur adenopathy, uveitis. Sarcoidosis, non caseating granulomas. 12. Black Escher on face of patient with diabetic ketoacidosis. Mucor or rhizopus fungal infection. 13. Blue sclera. Osteogenesis imperfecta, type 1 collagen defect. 14. Bluish line on gingiva. Burton line, lead poisoning. 15. Bone pain, bone enlargement, arthritis. Paget disease of bone, 
the increased osteoblastic and osteoclastic activity. 16. Head bobbing, bounding pulses, wide pulse pressure, diastolic heart murmur. 17. Aortic regurgitation. 17. Butterfly facial rash and renal phenomenon in a young female. 18. Systemic lupus erythematosus. 18. Cafe au lait spots, optic gliomas, Lisch nodules, cutaneous neurofibromas, Pheochromocytomas. 19. Neurofibromatosis type 1. 19. Caffeolay spots unilateral, polyostotic fibrous dysplasia, precocious puberty, multiple endocrine abnormalities. 19. McCune-Albright syndrome, mosaic G-protein signaling mutation. 20. Calf pseudohypertrophy. 20. Muscular dystrophy, most commonly Duchenne due to X-link recessive frame shift mutation of dystrophin gene. 21. Cervical lymphadenopathy, red conjunctiva and tongue, desquamating rash, coronary aneurysms, hand foot changes. 22. Kawasaki disease, treat with IVIG and aspirin. 22. Cherry red spots on macula. 2. gangliocyte accumulation, neiman pick, sphingomyelin accumulation, or central retinal artery occlusion. 23. Chest pain on exertion. 24. Angina, stable with moderate exertion unstable with minimal exertion or at rest. 29. Chest pain, pericardial effusion, friction rub, persistent fever following MI. 30. Dressler syndrome, autoimmune mediated post MI fibrinous pericarditis, two weeks to several months after acute episode. 25. Chest pain with ST depressions on EKG. 26. Unstable angina, negative troponins, or n STEMI with positive troponins. 26. Child uses arms to stand up from squat. 27. Duchenne muscular dystrophy, Gower's sign. 27. Child with fever later develops red rash on face that spreads to body. 28. Erythema infectiosum, fifth disease. Slap cheeked appearance caused by parvovirus B19. 28. Chorea dementia caudate degeneration. 29. Huntington disease. Autosomal dominant CAG repeat.
expansion. Twenty nine Chorioretinitis, hydrocephalus, intracranial calcifications. 30. Chronic exercise intolerance with myalgia, fatigue, painful cramps, myoglobinuria. 30. McCardell disease, skeletal muscle glycogen phosphorylase deficiency. 31. Cold intolerance. 31. Hypothyroidism. 32. Conjugate horizontal gaze palsy. Horizontal diplopia. 32. Internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Damage to MLF may be unilateral or bilateral. 33. Continuous machine-like heart murmur. 34. Patent ductus arteriosus. Close with endomethacin. Keep open with prostaglandin E analogs. 34. Cutaneous dermal edema due to connective tissue deposition. 35. Mixed edema caused by hypothyroidism, Graves disease, pretibial. 35. Cutaneous flushing, diarrhea, bronchospasm. 36. Carcinoid syndrome, right-sided cardiac valvular lesions, increased 5 HIAA. 36. Dark purple skin or mouth nodules in a patient with AIDS. 37. Kaposi sarcoma, associated with human herpes virus 8. 37. Deep labored breathing, hyperventilation. 38. Diabetic ketoacidosis, Kussmaul respirations. 38. Dermatitis, dementia, diarrhea. 39. Niacin vitamin B3 deficiency. 39. Dilated cardiomyopathy, edema, alcoholism, or malnutrition. 40. Wet berry berry, thiamine, vitamin B1 deficiency. 40. Dog or cat bite resulting in infection. 41. Pastorella multicida, cellulitis at inoculation site. 41. Dry eyes, dry mouth, arthritis. 39. Syndrome, autoimmune destruction of exocrine glands. 42. Dysphagia, esophageal webs, glossitis, iron deficiency anemia. 
Flumer-Vinson syndrome may progress to esophageal squamous cell carcinoma. Forty-three, elastic skin, hypermobility of joints, bleeding tendency. Ehlers-Danlos syndrome, type five collagen defect, type three collagen defect seen in vascular subtype of Ehlers-Danlos. Forty-four. Enlarged, hard, left supraclavicular node. 4 cow node. Abdominal metastasis. 45. Episodic vertigo, tinnitus, hearing loss. 46. Erythroderma, lymphadenopathy, hepatosplenomegaly, atypical T cells. 47. Mycosis fungoides, cutaneous T cell lymphoma, or Cesare syndrome mycosis fungoides, and malignant T-cells in blood. 47. Facial muscle spasm upon tapping. 4. sign, hypocalcemia. 48. Fat, female, 40, and fertile. 'Cholelithiasis', gallstones. 49. Fever, chills, headache, myalgia. Following antibiotic treatment for syphilis. 4. Herxheimer reaction. Rapid lysis of spirochetes results in endotoxin release. 50. Fever, cough, conjunctivitis, coryza, diffuse rash. 4. Measles, rubeola virus.